I'm Rebecca Freer and welcome to my studio. Okay. As it's a grey and wet and rainy, horrible day, I'm going to come in the studio and do some painting using one of the, uh, the many visual references I've got in my sketchbook. Always a good idea to have lots of drawings to, to choose from. And uh, sometimes things work out useful, sometimes it's, it's just a place to go for practice. And uh, whatever you do in a sketchbook is always a good thing to have. I can stick photographs in and stick drawings and all sorts of art making exercises. But here's one. Here's a photograph I've painted before and I feel like having another go at it today. So that's the one that I'm going to use. And to work with, I'm going to have my watercolour sticks. These are some sticks, uh, neo colour sticks made by Karen Dash, and there is some uh, Derwent, Derwent colour sticks here as well. These are just, it's basically, it's just watercolour in a, in a crayon form, which you can draw with dry and you can wet it as well. So, in order to wet it, I've got a little. Um, Pump action spray bottle with ordinary water in, um, a watercolour brush, and that's all I'm going to need. I'll probably, probably do some drawing at the end as well with the uh, watercolour pencils to see, just have to see how it goes. There we go. Now I need to reshape some of this tonal value and put a few lights back into some of the areas where the darker tones ran just a little bit too much. So I've diluted some white watercolour to a creamy texture and um, putting it on with a brush just at the moment.
Well, I'm just not getting enough white on from the brush and diluted paint, so I'll pick a tube up and put the white on directly from the tube, which gives me a nice, bright, thick, juicy white, which looks a little bit harsh to begin with, but I will um, blend it in with my fingers in a little bit. So a little bit goes up and over, I want highlights on the clouds. A little earlier on you saw me putting some white paint in the sky that created some little windows in the tree and now what I'm doing is using a fine pencil to draw in all those little branches that you can see through the windows that are on the far side of the tree. Well, that was yesterday's work and um, I've left this painting overnight, which is always a good thing to do because you come back and see things quite differently in the morning. And um, you might have noticed some things that I've changed now. Yesterday, later on after I'd finished that painting session, I re-wet the paper and stuck it down to the board so it's dried nice and flat. That's, uh, that's effectively stretched the watercolour paper. If that's not something you know how to do, um, I'll be making another video on how to do that. You can either do that from the start, before you start painting, or you can do it part way through, or even at the end of a painting. So, 
There's just a few things I want to do to this piece of work today. And uh, you can see, maybe you can see the, the visual reference here, where I've got to decide where the focal point is on my painting. And I quite like this area here that you saw the detail work on yesterday. So I want to make sure that the, you, the viewer, pay most of your attention to this part of the painting. And don't get distracted by some of the detail that's down here in the photograph or up in the sky. So the corners of this painting I'm going to sort of maybe smudge out a little bit, make them a little bit less focal and put a lot more detail work into here, adjust the tones as well. I also quite like, I don't know whether you can see it um, as well as I can, the way the light's shining on this from here, I can see just here and there there's little flecks of a bronze colour which is from this Neo Colour Crayon. It's a bronze Neo Colour Crayon so I'm going to try and put some of that into the deep shadows to give them a little bit of a sparkle and a lift. So, pressing on. So I'm looking at this left hand side where I've left quite a bit unfinished and I'm going to just evaluate the cropping of that left hand side because I might take some of the finished painting off. So I've got to decide how much more work to do over there. A little piece of paper just helps me to decide what to do next. Here's another important compositional device when you want to attract people's attention to part of the composition. And I'm putting in some shadows in the field here, which act as little arrows to point in the direction of where I want the focal point of the picture to be. Well, I think that's the stage to leave this painting before it, it gets overworked. That's always a danger. <clears throat> May, may come back to it in future when I've uh, had a, a fresh look at it again, maybe in a few days' time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I um, hope you've enjoyed it and found some useful tips there. You can uh, click on the link below to see more of my work. If you want to visit my website, you can see more of my work and uh, find out details about the classes that I teach in Lancashire. Um, come back soon and see more of my videos. Bye for now. <laughs>